this tutorial. Uh, these represent, you know, cutscenes. So you effectively have all these comments, which you gotta deflect, so to speak. So that's, I'm guessing, why you uh, do all this. So, again, this game's gonna be very weird at first. You're like, what the hell's going on? But you'll you'll see here in a moment. I had to uh, f goof with it for a while because I didn't know what the hell was happening. Once I understood it, it made a lot more sense. It was actually pretty good. You just pick out one thing and then you go on from there. Oop. You grab it by pressing the R1 button. You grab your resources that way. Otherwise, you can make these harvesters, which I don't have enough for currently. Because I made a lot of... Oh no, you don't. It's mine. And you see it there where I did that, by the way. Your whole goal, effectively, is to... ...build all this stuff here. Oops. I just put it there because, again, it's easier to build. Um, the whole objective is to make these basic ops. And it's similar to like like MOBAs too, in terms of their units trying to get across to you. And your whole goal is to literally build resources. And temporarily defend as you're building your resources. It's a very simple in nature thing once you figure it out. You're like, oh, that's how this works. And they're eating it right now, so they're gonna give me my resources that way. There, let them eat that. There you go. There you go. Okay, so now that we have a couple units, go like that. We're holding down the L1, and then we're releasing our units that way by pressing analog stick down. It's a little bit weird at first. But it makes sense, I promise you. Hey. How you doing, uh, Gengar? Hope you're doing well. Oop. Bounced off the uh, meteor there, or the uh, resource node. There you go, we won. There you go, so you can kind of see how the game works. At least I did the tutorial over again. I'm going to redo each level so that way I can get a 5 star, because now I understand the game a little bit better. Now we need to I don't have any more resources. Ain't that a kick in the teeth? There you go. Oh no, 
you don't. That's mine. I could stay awake. There you go. Alright, so then we're gonna put... That, that, that. So literally any of these these meteors go towards that. They'll just collect it for me. Do the work. There. Now what we gotta do is build our uh, our dudes. And overkill it, you know. Just... Overkill is wonderful. Alright. And the thing is, you, there's a rule to us too. You cannot uh, block the path of how those things would normally get to you. Alright, let them just do their thing there. And then. Just release the horde. Also bump it into that if you want to. It's all it's all good. The heck is this? What is this? That, which is a tank item or a new item tank, blah blah blah. That's always a path between fam and invasive enemies. So they're, they're explaining the rules to you as you play. So then you have this right here, which um, we're gonna go ahead and build a couple. So you block off the scenic route, build your units. Build a something or other here. Oop. Let's leave that there. And we'll build a couple of these harvesters. Again, the game handles pretty decent with the controller. Uh, but I'd probably say it'd be a little bit better with the control uh, keyboard mouse. This probably handled a lot nicer, but it's not. Again, it's not to say that this is horrible in terms of controls. It's just a little bit of an adjustment. Uh, currently playing some PS4s. You probably probably saw earlier. Um, let's go ahead and release the horde now. All right, let's go ahead and add that. Go get it. I suppose we had a new character tank or something. Right. Let's place one right there. You can upgrade the units, I believe. Yep, there it is. You upgrade him that way. By pressing circle. Upgrade all this. He's not sure he can. Oop. Nope. I'm 
observed that shit. Oh, it looks like you don't really have to do the, uh, the left bumper thingy. Or the left or right bumper. You just hold the right analog stick if you want. That's mine. All right, we're gonna go ahead here and do a bunch of those, a bunch of those. That's right, you go and you grab them. Harvesters, we'll grab a couple of those because it seems like they're coming in, they're coming in from this. go. Look how they're kind of bumping at each other like, ooh, oh shit. Fences were firm, and so was it mine. Here, you current. Okay. Where the hell am I? Okay, over here. Harvesters there. Got enough for now. I lie, there's never enough. Alright, let's go ahead and make um, basic ops. I 
probably gonna have to build a uh, thing here. A harvester, rather. Well, just put them everywhere because this level is kind of weird. Seems like, oh, that's how they're sending them off. Okay, I see. What the hell are you? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Dirt. I gotta defeat the boss here, so I have to build up units fast. Okay, so right here. We'll... Okay, we'll. Okay, those are locked off. And they build up around that edge there. So. As fast as oop, hold up as fast as we can. Okay. In the meantime, let's go ahead and build. Lasers. 
Careful, old boy. Yeah, this game would definitely feel a lot better with the keyboard and mouse, though, in certain aspects of it. I mean, it handles fine for the most part. Did I win? Apparently, I won? No, I didn't. How the hell am I losing? I can take it. Okay, um... That part you can't quite uh, goof with. I'm goofing up because I'm not paying attention.
Alright, I'm trying to uh, upgrade these resources here. Alright, that has it. Okay, we're gonna add some more bombers. bad guy. Plant 
want that. Spamming as much as I can. Let's go over here. The thing is, there's two central points right there in the middle. those then have a better chance. I'll reduce their production. There's still two over there, but there you go. Cell shaded, yeah. That one, the that fourth comment's a pain in the ass. to cover all bases. Now we need to build a bunch of bombers and all that. Having 
like some basic ops. I just completely walked, ignored the other one there. I think if the goal is not to break that ship necessarily, it's just to get... These other things broken. Make the pathway for these, these little guys... ...accessible. Keep the flow going. You have to be, like, damn good at this in order to beat that. Yeah, so you literally have to break those other ones somehow. Yeah, so you have to clear the way. as burn them as down as quickly as possible. Just place these down as fast as possible as well. Resources somehow. Yep, D Day.
Yeah, that this mission's kind of bullshit. Yeah. They should. But yeah, that is... Oh, I'm trying to pop my chest. There we go. Oh. That right there is Comet Crash 2. It's a pretty darn good game otherwise. It's... It has that issue with uh, Comet 4, which it's kind of optional, it looks like. But it's still, you know, there's some flaw to that for now. Unless you maybe need some upgrades or something in order to do that stage correctly. I don't know. But we're going to move on to a new game here. <laughs>